President McCullough, thank you for your very kind introduction. You know, it's a pleasure to be along here with you, with Laura and my three kids. And on behalf of my family, I'm honored to formally accept the position as the Director of Athletics at Florida State University. It's a lifetime goal of mine as a citizen in this industry. So to begin, I want to start by thanking some individuals who helped facilitate this process. President McCullough, Chairman of the Board, Peter Collins. Also, thank you, Glenn Sugiyama of DHR International for all your hard work. Thank you to David Coburn for all your support, your professionalism, and all you've done for Florida State Athletics. Laura and I cherish our relationship. Thank you, Chairman Jimmy Graganella, who I believe is here somewhere. Chairman, and the Seminole Booster Board for all your support and encouragement through this process. Thank you to the Seminole Booster staff for believing in a vision and working together to accomplish some remarkable feats in such a short time. Thank you for all your hard work. Thank you to all of our Seminole Booster donors who welcomed Laura and I into the community and really embraced our vision for excellence that we set forth. A few personal thank yous to people who aren't here. President Bob Davies, the President of Central Michigan, for his friendship and impact. Thank you to the Jones family for all their support, even through this process and encouragement they gave. I want to thank Chris Del Conte, the Athletic Director at the University of Texas, and our Commissioner Jim Phillips for their friendship and support throughout this process as well. I also want to thank Joe Castiglione, the AD of the University of Oklahoma, for being such an incredible influence in my life. I've learned so much in working for him and striving for excellence on a daily basis. And a special thanks to President McCullough. Your vision, plans for the university and our Department of Athletics were key to this process, and I appreciate it. And last but not least, thanks to my family for their encouragement throughout this process. I'm proud to stand before you today as a former student athlete. In fact, uh, we have a little competition in our family, who's the best? Um, <laughs> but Laura is a Division I former student athlete. I'm a Division I former student athlete, and two of my daughters are current former student athletes. No pressure on Bird <laughs> coming out, but uh, we are a product of uh, the student athlete experience. As student athletes, we were transformed by the experience, the impact that our coaches have on us in every way, academically, athletically, and personally. Professionally, I've had a broad-based career in collegiate athletics, Alabama, USC, University of Oklahoma, Central Michigan, and professional sports, Cincinnati, Dallas Cowboys. I believe it's prepared me well for this day and this opportunity. I've been working hard for many years to come to serve you in this entire university community. I have three messages. Number one is alignment. My message today about aligning our Department of Athletics with the educational mission of President McCullough's plans for the future of this university. I humbly submit that I've learned a lot from the best in this area. I know this firsthand. In no uncertain terms, our job in athletics is to support the educational mission of the university and celebrate the academic achievements of our student athletes as we prepare them for life. We don't exist apart from that relationship. I'm excited with the thought of developing the plans and processes that align our Department of Athletics with the university mission more closely as partners. We will also be in alignment with Seminole Boosters. That is a must as we continue to work very hard on a shared vision of supporting our student athletes and providing educational and leadership opportunities for them, and not to mention the winning edge resources that allow them to be successful. My second message, especially to any student athletes in attendance, is that student athlete well-being is our focal point. We will be focused on the well-being of our student athletes and their success. We will embrace high standards that keep student athletes in every decision we make and the focal point in all we do. We'll set plans in place that have them leaving FSU with a, with a meaningful degree in their left hand and a championship ring on the other. I'll be working closely with our staff and coaches 
to place the student athletes in a position to compete for championships in the classroom and in the field of play. The safety, health, and well-being of our student athletes is simply non-negotiable. We will strive to have the best student athlete experience because they are our why. My third message that we will embrace excellence. In my conversations with President McCullough, Chairman Collins, through this process, we constantly spoke of excellence. We constantly spoke of standards. And I pledge comprehensive excellence within our Department of Athletics. So my third and last message is a part of that conversation. It involves embracing excellence and competing in everything we do internally and externally. We will become better than we were yesterday. We will compete and hold everyone accountable to a culture of high standards. The standard is the standard. We will invite all those that connect to our program to embrace the concept of excellence as well. We will develop and refine plans and processes that move our organization forward. And we will embrace excellence in all of our work. We will move tirelessly to communicate our standards of excellence within our community, amongst the university leaders, the academic community, our alumni, donors, and fans. In turn, we're going to encourage all to get engaged with our department, the Seminole Boosters and University, in a meaningful way. And I, I wouldn't be, I'd get in trouble from Darrell Beach if I didn't remind everyone to go join the annual fund today <laughs> so we can support our student athletes. To all former student athletes at FSU, we want you back. This is your home. We, this is your legacy that you help build and let's continue to pay forward for generations to come by staying involved and staying connected. Once to know, I'll always know. President McCullough, those are my three messages. We will be in alignment with the university as partners. The student athlete well-being is our focal point and we will embrace excellence on every turn. Thank you very much for your time today. I look forward to working along with all of you in the weeks, months ahead. I can't wait to get started in January. Laura and I are excited to make Tallahassee our home for a long time. Today's a great day to be a Seminole.